Hey guys, it's Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video and today we are doing the patch note review video. So it's for the July update, which is called Skyward Endeavors. So we're going to break down the patch notes and uh, my take on it and uh, give you some good gameplay to watch as well um, while we're breaking it down and uh, let's get to it. So uh, maintenance times is July 1st. 2 to 5 30 a.m. Central PlayStation July 1st 2 to 5 30 a.m. Central iOS same thing and Android Xbox uh, size for the update is 4.12 gigabytes Xbox Series S and X is 4.3 gigabytes PlayStation 4 is 4 gigabytes and PlayStation 5 is almost 1 gigabyte and iOS and Android are approximately plus or minus one gigabyte so pretty decent update so we have for this update we have the gray ghost campaign we have the independence day event we have the winged admiral calendar and the early access u.s hybrid battleships so with this we got uh so we got the gray ghost campaign featuring the u.s tier 7 premium aircraft carrier enterprise aircraft carriers are now available on mobile devices Star Trek and World Warships Legends, U.S. Independence Day event, early access to hybrid U.S. battleships, winged admiral calendar with a new U.S. battleship commander, new arcade battle type, three new rank seasons, and balance changes to carriers and more. So first off is the Grey Ghost campaign, the U.S. Enterprise. So it's a new tier 7 premium aircraft carrier enterprise famous historical ship she's equipped with precise bombers with high survivability capable of dealing devastating damage by dropping powerful armor piercing bombs these characteristics combined with good movement spread and maneuverability make enterprise a game changer even the most difficult battles plus starting from july 1st aircraft carriers will become available on mobile devices so don't hesitate to join this campaign if you're a mobile player the campaign, as usual, consists of a hundred milestones spread over five weeks and includes the catch-up mechanic. Check out the campaign rewards with and without the Admiralty backing. I'm not going to go through that, but obviously if you get the backing, you get the Enterprise, and if you don't, you still get okay rewards. So we got Star Trek and World Warships Legends, so we're pleased to announce our new collabor collaboration with Star Trek. The iconic characters from the beloved series have warped into world warships legends truly a gift for all fans of science fiction and tv classics stay tuned for more details coming soon the u.s independence day celebration so there's a lot of uh independence day themed events and uh content so we're going to have the new u.s hybrid battleships are arriving in early access along with a new commander joseph reeves who can be obtained by collecting this update's winged admiral calendar and what's a good celebration well a new mission from july 1st through august 5th you can complete four independence day missions playing four or playing american ships including the new hybrid battleships and receive the event currency impendium independium so you can use that independium on various goods and start including skins on the u.s hybrid battleships and golden eagle skins for kansas florida Plus the new le legendary battleship, Louisiana, is also for in Independium. So if you manage to accumulate uh, enough, then you'll be able to get it through the uh, Waves of Liberty random bundle obtainable for doubloons. So the Waves of Liberty event, this bundle will give you uh, enough Independium to purchase Louisiana and new skins for the U.S. hybrid battleships in early access. It also offers a chance to get U.S. Tier 8 Cruiser Vallejo and 80 percent cruiser discount coupon and select american ships and lots of commander progression items on top of that new u.s hybrid battleships so we've prepared a new tech tree line of the u.s hybrid battleships from tier 6 to tier 8 available in early access in this update so we have the connecticut nebraska and the delaware each of these ships is equipped with the powerful airstrike feature using torpedo bombers you can obtain Connecticut, Nebraska, and Delaware from the USN Hybrid Battleship Crates and the USN Hybrid Battleship's Big Crates, which will be available in the store during this update for doubloons or independium. 
These crates can also be earned through the Grey Ghost campaign and the Winged Admiral calendar. So there's like four different ways you can earn the Independium and just the uh, the ships overall. So that's going to be pretty cool. Besides the ships and early access, we're also prevent, uh, providing a new legendary hybrid battleship to Louisiana. She will be available in the store for the Independium. The event currency will, we mentioned above. Note that it's not your last chance to get Louisiana. Next summer she will be available again as a free bureau project. However, you have a unique opportunity to try her out now a year in advance. So uh, if you're a big fan of Louisiana, um, maybe the state or just the U.S. hybrid battleship Louisiana, then uh, you know go ahead and get it. If not, you get you can wait until next year. So it's up to you. So we got the Winged Admiral calendar. So Joseph Reeves is the new historical commander and strong leader for the new U.S. hybrid battleships. He comes with a full set of unique skills designed specifically to enhance the airstrike power of your admiral or your American hybrids. To get Joseph Reeves, complete the new calendar. A three-week series of a daily missions. Available from July 1st through August 5th. So um, it's going to be good. It uh, reduces the damage of bombs and torpedoes launched by aircraft at your ship by up to 16%. Improves your ship's sea and air detectability range by up to 2%. Unique set of airstrike based skills. Bird's eye view improves airstrike and main battery range up to 4%. Sea wings increases airstrike aircraft cruising speed and the ship's maximum speed by 4%. Naval Aviator increases the speed of your airstrike torpedoes by up to 4 knots, reduces their aiming time by up to 8%, and increases their damage by up to 4%. Iron Feathers increases airstrike aircraft HP by up to 16%, and the ship's maximum HP by up to 6%. Shows the direction of the closest enemy ship if your ship has airstrikes. So this is kind of like twist and track, um, but for carriers... Or not carriers, but the U.S. hybrid battleship carrier. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, new battle type, arcade battles. This update introduces arcade battles. Completely new, faster paced battle type that will be permanently available alongside versus AI and standard battles. Starting from account level 4, you can try these dynamic battles with simplified mechanics and randomly composed teams of 5. And arcade battles you'll fight with and against other players with AI filling in if there aren't enough players to complete the team. Any non-carrier ships of tier 1 through tier 6 are allowed. Now we also got rank seasons 56 through 58. Rank battles are returning with three new seasons starting on July 2nd. This time you'll, com you'll compete in teams of three with a limit of one destroyer per team and no aircraft carriers. Ship tiers will vary from tier 5 to tier 7 depending on the season. Loads of rewards await you with up to 3,600 CO available for completing all three seasons. So with that, just that alone, I'm definitely going to be doing that because I'm working on getting the Dyson. So uh, I need all the steel that I can get. And uh, if you think the steel is worth it and that's a good choice, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, we got some balance changes. So a few new balance changes await you in this new update described in detail in our traditional Ministry of Balance article. I also provided the link in the description, so if you want to go take a look at that on the video, uh, you, you will be able to do that. So I provided the update link and also for the patch notes and also the balance of ministry changes. So you have both of those links in the description. So don't be afraid to take a look at that if you're interested or you want to look at something in specific for the update that I mentioned. Uh, once again, we've tweaked aircraft carriers a bit to improve their balance after the rework. The aircraft restoration time now takes longer for most carriers. Aircraft health and hangar size have also been adjusted in some cases. Additionally, we've reduced the aircraft speed for most carriers. These changes should help with surface ships ward off repeated attacks from aircraft carriers. Here's a quick overview of other changes. Buffs to turpits, buffs to turpits B, buffs to valet health, nerfs to secondary interest, commander skill. Improvements and bug fixes. All platforms. Independences. Torpedo bombers now look more historically accurate. The, the campaign milestone pop-up screen now appears immediately after the battle ends instead of showing unexpectedly after a delay. Fixed a few minor visual artifacts. Console. 
fix the synchronization of an in-game trophy achievement progress on consoles so trophies achievements now correctly unlock on the PlayStation Network and the Xbox Live fixed camera twitching using while using binoculars on aircraft carriers fixed incorrect colors of players aircraft markers when playing in a division mobile also had changes regarding aircraft carriers are now available on mobile devices improve the port viewing angle to provide a better look at the ships fix the information box about inspirations that appear when upgrading commander the legendary rank and fixed textures sometimes appearing too bright with medium and low graphics settings on ios 17 and higher get ready for epic battles and victories on the sea and it's and in the sky and it's time to turn the tide so that is the patch note uh, so we went through it so it sounds like a pretty good update overall definitely a lot of u.s themed events so you got the calendar you got the campaign you have the camos for the u.s camos you got the Vallejo, you got the enterprise you got the new u.s hybrid uh carrier and battleship uh ships so those are going to be interesting uh, so you got the tier 6 through the tier 8 and you got the Louisiana so uh, and you can also use the independium as a currency to get those camos or the Louisiana but obviously mentioned in the patch or patch notes which I did is that uh, you can get the, in, the Louisiana using independium so with that it's going to be a pretty good update I mean, I don't know if I'm going to um, try to get the Louisiana. I mean, I might try, but um, there's no guarantees with that. But uh, we'll see how that is and how much that uh, costs. But uh, it's going to be good. Uh, so we're just about wrapping up this game as well. But uh, let me know your comments on the update overall for July 2024. What your thoughts are on it. And... Uh, if you're excited for the new U.S. hybrid battleship slash carrier ships, uh, I definitely think it's going to be a good addition to the game. Just hope they balance it correctly, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And it should be a pretty interesting update. Um, definitely got a pretty good week for that. Also have the... Uh, July 4th and 5th off so I'm going to be um, probably doing a stream on July 4th for um, 4th of July um, so I'll be doing that and then probably putting in uh, some more videos and some more uh, streams up during that weekend so uh, you're going to have to stay tuned for that but we have a uh, pretty good update overall we got some we also got a new commander as well for the uh, US hybrid battleship carrier ships so that is going to be pretty interesting definitely for making that a little bit more viable and uh yeah it should be fun um so also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already really appreciate everyone uh we are making our push towards uh 1300 subscribers um i think the goal for the end of the summer should probably be like 1400 subscribers maybe 1500 getting generous but uh definitely appreciate everyone's support and uh we also just passed four years um i've said this a couple times with the videos but uh june 20th was the timetable for four years on the channel so um pretty recent and uh definitely appreciate everyone's support it's been quite the ride and uh yeah so a pretty good update and uh we're just about wrapping up the battle uh if anyone has any thoughts on the updates or questions regarding the update or the patch notes just let me know in the comments i'll be able to answer those and uh get anything situated regarding that and uh so yeah so a pretty good game uh, for you guys and also a good breakdown for the patch notes. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. 119,000 damage with the Emerald and almost 3k XP. So good battle, good breakdown of the update. And uh, yeah, this is Dark Architect 18. 
I'm out. Thanks for watching and hope everyone has a good day. Thanks. Peace. Bye.